It's a little confusing for me because you see what used to be clear cut lines. They're like, you know, Rio V, Milwaukee. And, and, you know, me personally, the rigid line, I'm just, I've never been a huge fan, I'm just being honest. Yes, I stood in the lobby of Rigid Tools and told their executive team, I'm not a fan of their brand. We then went on to talk about different topics, took a tour of the facility, and then they showed us some new Rigid Tools. Some are prototypes, some are in production. I didn't realize until after all that happened how offended they were by my statement. Let's take a look at the new tools. Then when we come back, I'll tell you how awkward the situation got. And for a moment there, I even felt personally attacked. So back last year in 2020, we launched our first line of subcompact brushless tools and it's been very well received in the market. Historically, we've had larger, bulky of tools and our end users absolutely need something that's more compact. And so we've been able to really produce smaller, compact tools that perform really, really well. And with the success, we've actually had a lot of uh, requests for additional subcompact tools and that's what we're gonna take you over um, here today. The first one we will do is our all new one-handed chip getting saw. Super excited about this. Um, we've been out with electricians, plumbers, even uh, remodelers, uh, making sure that it's the right size, right weight, right power uh, to get through various types of metal, PVC, and even wood. Um, so right now, through our testing, this is the fastest one-handed chip getting saw in the market okay. when it launches. Yeah, so really excited about that, and we want to get you guys uh, some hands-on. So a couple specs, 3,200 strokes per minute, 7 8 inch stroke length. All right, um, we have a pivoting shoe uh, compared to the previous Octane one. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you even got a head start. That's bizarre. <laughs> that is bizarre. Oh, they're looking like, oh, that's crazy. I, I can't believe that. Yeah. That ought to show you how much better that is. Wow. Three, two, one, go. Crazy. That's crazy. Next one we'll move on is our Rigid's very first brushless blade left design circular saw. Um, this has been one that's been very highly requested both in the field, on social media. Uh, so remodelers, rescon guys, trim carpenters that want the better line of sight with a blade left saw and a very lightweight package. So we know a lot of guys use this and they're looking at a one-handed uh, patient doing cross cuts all day. Uh, so that's what we really designed for here. Um, Kind of going back to the subcompact line all together, it's all about the power, the size, and the weight. And we really think we hit all of those aspects on this saw. It's powerful, 5,000 RPMs, two to four inch depth of cut. And on the weight, with our magnesium guard, we've allowed this to be the lightest six and a half inch saw in the market. So next what we're gonna talk about um, with the subcompact expansion is the subcompact brushless three inch right angle drill. Really excited about this one because um, as I mentioned, this is when this launch is gonna be the most compact right angle drill. Um, when using right angle drills, it, tight spaces and small size, that's absolutely critical. I mean, that's one of the biggest feedback that we have from our users. Um, but we didn't compromise the, si or the power with the small size. We're, like I said, best in class power with over 375 inch pounds of torque, but you'll actually, actually see it versus the uh, one of our main competitors here, the DeWalt unit. Um, so again, when we're talking about compact size, I mean, night and day, absolutely, um, I mean, we can fit into so many more tight spaces with this, which is absolutely critical for a right angle drill. And what you're about to see here too, is we absolutely blow them away in performance. Um, so this is a one inch spade bit, which I'll, I'll let you guys get, you know, brace. One of the other things with the right angle drill um, is 
control. So we've actually optimized this um, chuck to allow the bit to uh, sit in even further than uh, most other right angle drills. This allows you to have more control when swapping out your bits, especially in this compact size. I know that's typically pretty, pretty critical, critical there. Um, as well as we really focus on the ergonomics of this tool, we optimize the trigger. Um, as well as just the grip in general, we put a, that through a lot of field research to really get it just right. This unit is actually also at 129, so this is going to be 129. This is DeWalt's brushed unit, and we're going to offer a subcompact brushless unit at the same exact retail. So when we talk about value, this is an absolute incredible value. So I have to admit, I was thoroughly impressed by their new offerings and what they were showing. Some of them we can't show you, but I can promise you there's a whole bunch that's on the horizon. Over the years, I've made some pretty negative videos about rigid tools, especially this palm router. Always been a big fan of their vacuum cleaners. Here's the thing and why I made the statement that I made. There was never a clear cut path. It always seemed like rigid would take a couple steps forward and then take 10 steps back. There was always this stigma, a hysteria, if the product line was even going to continue. Once Rigid got rid of the Octane line of tools and their Octane batteries, that even exacerbated the issues. And that's why I always said that, along with gaping holes in their platform, is what made me not a fan of their tools. But after seeing a clear-cut path that Rigid has set out on and their new offerings, there's definitely more faith in what they'll be doing there. As far as the awkward situation, the president of Rigid Power Tools literally told his team while I was there, Vince is not a fan of your tools. And I had to take, take a step back and ask him in what context that was said. Well, you saw it in the beginning of the video. I literally did say that. But where I might have felt personally attacked at first, I don't think he was attacking me. I think that he was making his team aware that people aren't necessarily believers in the product line yet, and he was trying to inspire his team to keep building, keep pushing, keep innovating, and expand the line. People will laugh when I say this. When a producer of power tools starts to fill gaping holes in their platform, that's a signal to me that they're gonna be around for a while. You might not think a right angle drill is a big deal, but I do. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.